With the release of a Reclaimer 18 shotgun and the sledgehammer, 10 new camos have been added into the game, including what looks like to be a variant of Polyatomic and some more camos that glow in the dark. So let's go unlock them. You guys see where I'm coming from, right? When I say this is an alternate version of Polyatomic, this looks like the same exact texture, just with different colors on it and a little more wear. But this is the zombies version of the camo we're going for today. I want to get the Azure Refract camo, which I need to get 10 kills while ADSing with this shotgun, which shouldn't be too hard, especially in this mode, which is the 8-bit mode, where all your opponents get larger heads the more kills they get, I'm pretty sure is how it works. And the map is just way more colorful and it should be a lot easier to spot people. Honestly, this, this stuff looks pretty goofy. And I know a lot of people will be like, what happened to COD's identity? COD hasn't had like a super realistic war identity since like what, Call of Duty 3? Maybe COD 4? And even then it's always been kind of an arcadey shooter where it hasn't really been that tied down to reality. And I love that Sledgehammer's going out of their way to make like goofy, more fun, entertaining stuff. Cause I feel like Sledgehammer has killed it when it comes to post launch content in this game. Like we have like four events going on right now with more on the way. We're constantly getting events every week with more stuff to unlock. We're getting new maps and variations of maps like this. We're getting new camos every time weapons are added in and the camos just keep getting better and better. The only thing I feel like that the ball has been kind of dropped on is zombies in terms of content for that, but Sledgehammer was never in charge of the zombies content, not to my knowledge. That was all Treyarch and they stopped working on it to work on BO6. But it could have been the absolute perfect game if Modern Warfare Zombies just got a little more love. But besides the main camo we're going for for our Reclaimer 18 here, I'm also going to go for the multiplayer version of this camo, which I think is called Dubs Dubs Dubs, which is just an alternate color version of this. And it's going to look a lot like my channel colors. Actually, both these camos are, so you can probably see why I like them so much. If I could get a kill though, there we go. Oh, and there we go. We got in our first game. I think we also need to get hip fire kills. We need to get double kills and maybe kills without dying. Let's check our track challenges. 50 kills, 10 double kills, 50 kills with the sledgehammer and 50 hip fire kills. Let's get to work on those. And I have not heard good things about this shotgun in multiplayer so far. And I'm starting to see why. I just hit so many hit markers right there. Granted, it was from a bit of a distance, but that is way too many. But it does have two different firing modes. I'm using the pump action mode, which I hear does more damage. But maybe I should try out the semi-auto mode. Or I should try aiming a bit better too. That might help. Let's switch this to semi-auto. Oof. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. Maybe we need to switch ammo types or something. Holy shit. I have no idea how we're going to get double kills with this if we don't play hardcore. It's already taken so long just to get one kill. Multiple shots each time. This might be one of my favorite camos in the game. I just wish it wasn't as scratched up. There's got to be like some blueprint or something that I can throw this on and it won't be as scratched. I feel like that's my main complaint with a lot of camos that they throw into this game. They just add in scratches and wear where, it, you know, it doesn't need to be. Like why make such a beautiful camo and then just, you know, throw it in the, the washer, throw it in the dryer, run it over with a car. You know, hit it with a bazooka. And I know some people do like the scratches on the guns. It makes it feel a little bit more realistic, a little bit more used. But I think they should just add like a wear slider to the camos so you can add in as much as you want. Oh, that sucks. That guy had time to throw a grenade, reload his gun, and still kill me. Oh, that was the perfect opportunity for a double and I couldn't even get one. Come on. Let me get this double, please. No, I hit him twice. All right, I am going to try slugs. Let's take off this muzzle and we're throwing slugs on. It's going to be a lot more difficult to get hip fire kills with slugs, but I think the double kills are probably going to be harder. There we go. Where's another person? Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Finally, that was nasty. Oh, make it a triple. Watch the camo challenge be so specific that that didn't count. Actually, we can check that. Oh, it did. I think. I actually cannot get over this camo. It's like it was put in the game for me. It's so beautiful. And it's also so funny playing on this version of Favela now after like playing the beta. And one of the main complaints from the beta is that the game just looked washed out and it was like they're scared of adding color into it. And now we're literally playing in Roblox or Unturned or Minecraft. There we go. That's a nice double. Oh, could potentially be a triple. Let's go. We're starting to get it. 
Oh! I should not... I should have no business getting that double kill. That should not have happened. I should have been dead. Come on. Give me another one. Where's somebody else at? There we go. Ooh! Keep it going. Did we get a camo there? We did. Bugged out. Wow, that was our 50th kill. That took a, a little long to get, I'm not going to lie. Probably because of stuff like that. I do not be paying attention. Ooh, okay. We're figuring out the hip fire with slugs now. We can double dip on these challenges. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Hit a shot challenge, dude. Add that as a, a camo challenge. I'll be stuck on it for a year. There we go. Is that all of our double kills? That feels like it should be 10. Don't look like it. That should be our doubles now, right? Yes, sir. All right, that 8-bit mode was fun, but we got to get these hip fire kills done on the smaller map playlist. A little DOS house should help us out. Ooh, sorry, Nikki. Night, night, Homelander. Homelander. We got to get my son from Homelander. Oi. Ooh. When did a bunny join the seven? Oh, don't matter. Because it got us our hip fire kills. All right, let's start working on our sledgehammer a little bit. Can't leave this bad boy behind. Ooh. So what I found out while using this in zombies is that the normal swing, like your normal firing button, is a big, long, heavy swing. Pause. And then your ADS button is going to be the faster swing. And I think they do the same amount of damage. Just the big swing is uh, more funny. So you can actually just launch people with it. We don't need launches unless we absolutely have to. Dude, I love using melee weapons in COD. They're always my favorite weapons to use. They're so goofy. Go balls to the wall. Just hit people. And I feel like people get the most mad when you kill them with a melee weapon for no reason. Like, you got a gun. Shoot me. If I can beat you with a hammer, then you're not doing anything right with your weapon. I got a headshot, too. Look at that. That ain't that hard. Ooh. Ooh, and I'm juking the shit out of this guy. I hit him with the Scooby-Doo. Didn't get the kill, but he had no idea where I was at. Just a little misdirection is all you need. Isn't that right, Nikki? Shut up, Noir. Quit talking. Oh, we're going in. A quick quad. Oh, a fiver. Let's go, dude. Oh, I think we just finished an event, too. I don't know why, but I always feel like I'm more zoned in with the melee weapon. Like, I actually think about what I have to do. Think about engagements. Think about how I'm going to go and get at people. But with a gun, I don't do that. I, I just feel like it forces me to focus more on my movement and my positioning. Because I actually go off with melee weapons for no reason. I'm just too good. Too nasty. And I cannot... Okay, I can be stopped. I think the thing getting in my way most is my ego. Because the second I start doing well, I start talking myself up. And then that's when the camo curse comes to shut it down. The game wants none of that. Oh, come here, Homelander. You can't camp back there forever. Homelander would be one to camp, too. Coward. Sitting back there, sipping on his milk. Woo! Put him on skates. I'm like Reggie Bush when I got a melee weapon in my hands. I'm the COD version of the Tavon Austin college highlight tape. Look at that body spraying. Noir was sick of it. What is this? I get, I get to vote? Overall, please rate how much fun you have had, if any, you experienced in the match you just played. That was pretty fun. I'll say very fun. Oh, didn't get the vote. Wait a second. Is it still there? It is. And eh, we'll give it a very fun. It would have been way more fun if I dropped 300 kills. Ooh, and a little shipment to finish out this base camo for the sledgehammer. I'm down. This is kind of like the worst map if we want to try to go for the gold challenge on our sledgehammer after this. Because we need to get like 10 kills without taking damage. And it's pretty hard to not accidentally run into a bullet here. Damn, I'm racking up headshots with this. I swear I get more headshots with melees than I do when I actually need them for a challenge. Oh, there we go. We got our dubs, dubs, dubs camo. And we might as well get out of this game because I'm getting slammed. Oh, and look at this. Another nice blue and pink slash purple camo. Perfectly matching my colors. Actually, this one's slightly darker, but it don't matter. Ooh. Ooh, let's go. I think that, that should count towards our gilded progress on this because we need to get two kills shortly after sprinting without dying, I'm pretty sure. Which is a lot for one challenge. A lot of hoops we got to jump through. But it seems to be working out so far, at least for now. 
Oh yeah, look at that. We're already four out of 10. Let's try to get this done this game while, while the iron's hot. Or is it get a double kill shortly after sprinting? They need to be like back to back kills. Let me see. Get two operator kills shortly after sprinting one in one life. Okay. So it doesn't necessarily say double kills, but that would help speed up the process. Oh my Lanta. If anyone out there has any aim expertise, they could lend me, you know, a course I could take. Please let me know. I'm struggling out here. Come on. There we go. How do I hit that shot? How do I hit a long shot like that? We got gold though. Let's not complain too much. Now we need to get two kills within 10 seconds of each other 15 times. So two double kills. Or we can try to go for our kills from behind with our sledgehammer. Let's try to get a little bit of both. A little column A, a little column B. Actually, no, we still need to get our kills without taking damage before we can do our kills from behind. And kills from behind is going to suck. I remember that being a main challenge in Cold War. And every time I try to go for a kill from behind, it would just try to do an assassination. Whenever I need to do assassinations for that camo challenge, it would just get a kill from behind. It's like it it's there just to mess with me. Oh, wait, hold on. We're actually doing something, though. Never mind. Someone else also has a melee weapon that swings faster than mine. I need to start filling the map with smokes. So we need to hotbox the whole map. Oh, another person with a melee is actually perfect for this challenge. Because as long as I get to them before they get to me, that's easy progress for it. So thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. I'll try to get both of these weapons gold in this game. Ooh. Oh, did we get it? We did. Okay, so now we need our kills from behind. This one's really going to suck. Unless... Ooh. That should be one, right? I hope so. If not, this will be one. We did get one. Did we get two? How did the other one not count? This is why I hate about kills from behind. It only counts if you hit them like square in the middle of their back. They cannot turn at all. You have to specifically hit them in their six vertebrae. All right, that's game. But we did get both these weapons gold and got some progress towards forged. Okay, this do not seem like a map where I can get two kills within 15 seconds of each other with a sledgehammer or the shotgun. I just did it with a sledgehammer. See, whatever I say, the opposite happens. What I was trying to say, though, is that I think I'm focusing the sledgehammer this game. I feel like I have a better chance of getting camos done with this. I wonder if these headshots that I'm getting are actually helping my headshot percentage. Does it actually make it look like I'm better than I am? Or is headshot percentage only something that uh, is tracked gun by gun or weapon by weapon? Either way, I'm the greatest with a sledgehammer. And there's Forge. Let's go. So now we need our kills without taking damage with this. I wonder if it's taking damage specifically from the person you kill or just any damage at all. Because if it's any damage at all, a lot more difficult. If it's just specifically from who I'm taking out, eh, manageable. We can get it done. I mean, either way, we're getting it done. Actually, nobody even seems to be looking in my direction. I'm a ghost. I'm a phantom. Who's going to catch them all? His name is J Money Phantom. That was a bit of a stretch. Oh, wait. No, it's two kills without dying 15 times with a sledgehammer. I'm an idiot. Where am I getting these challenges from? That must have been gold. Okay, so that's going to be a bit tougher on Rust then. Seems like either way, I need to get double kills. No. Everybody's just sitting all the way back in the corner of their spawn. I can't even get close now. They've adapted to my strategy, which is run at their face. Oh, wait. Maybe not. Oh, yes, they have. They have contingency plans. It's crazy how, like, COD inflation has happened where Rust don't even feel like that small of a map anymore. Like, getting maps like Shipment for so long and Stash House, Rust almost feel like a medium-sized map. And this was the 1v1 map. I'm only really feeling like that because I'm using a melee weapon and getting out meleeed weaponed on it. Thank God that game is over. Hold on. Shoot house? Why have I not seen this map in forever? Are they just now adding this to the small map playlist? I remember for me, this is like single-handedly the map that saved Modern Warfare 2019. Because I was so sick of how large the maps were in that game with their 800 doors. This actually spruced the game up so much. Ooh, and I'm still goaded at it. This was my home. And it still is. We got home field advantage. This should be it right here. Show me priceless. Let's go. That is our 17th priceless camo, I'm pretty sure. So we still have a long ways to go before we make it to 51 and get interstellar. I have fallen way behind on that challenge. But now we're racking up doubles with a shoddy. Come on, somebody else peek me. No, damn it. Now I'm getting the sledgehammer treatment. Maybe we gotta start using this as a melee weapon. Just gotta use our smokes to do the same methods we were just doing. 
Get the guy that's laying in the corner with a nice little double headshot. Ooh. Damn. Could have had a, a quad there. What are you doing? Oh, they might have been inspecting the gun. Another strat. Have a nice camo on your gun so somebody has to pick it up and look at it. They were mesmerized by the drip. Oh, they really wanted to help me get that double kill there. They walked right in front of my barrel. They put their mouth over it. They're salivating on it. I appreciate the help. That was like the reverse of the camo curse. That was our, our camo angel looking down upon us. Oh, and now he's laughing at us. What the fuck was that? I knighted him. I went over both shoulders. Stay still. Oh, come on. That fucking sucks, dude. There's no way. We were both deadlocked in a hit a shot challenge. All right, I bit the bullet. We're going into hardcore. I feel like this is the only way we're going to get our double kills done fast enough. If I still keep hit marking with this in hardcore, it's officially cooked. Never mind, we're good. We're, it seems like we're fine. Actually, since I don't got slugs in this anymore, I can put it on semi auto. It should go by easier. I'm sorry to all the hardcore players that they got to deal with this. And that I've, I've resulted to this. I'm a victim of circumstance. The circumstances that I'm ass. And this is the only way we're getting it done. Oh, there we go. See? Fast and easy. Now we just need 10 hip fire kills while strafing? Okay. We just move left and right and shoot. Already what we've been doing. We're actually too nasty. This is going to be done in a second. Oh, and we're already done with it. That's all of our camos for both these guns. That wasn't too bad. That took uh, an hour and a half. I could have got it done a little bit faster if I would have switched to hardcore earlier, but I had to struggle a little bit for it. And you know what? Let's get out of here while we're ahead. And it's another blue and pink camo. You love to see it. So now that's 18 out of 36. I thought it was 51. So we're halfway there, a little over halfway. And just to get a better look at our camos in game, this is how scratched up it is on just the base gallo. But when I put it on a weapon with an aftermarket part, a lot of the scratches go away on the 3D printed part of the weapon. So it is possible to get this scratchless. You just have to use an aftermarket part or find a blueprint that doesn't have many scratches on it, which kind of sucks, but... I think this camo is worth it. And to just hammer the point home that this camo was made for me, I went ahead and threw it on the Synthwave blueprint I have for the Val 46, and it matches it perfectly. It completely fits the color scheme, and it's just, it's so nice. I just can't get over how much I love this camo. It's just perfect. And I put our Dubs 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 camo on our P90 here so we can get a better look at it. And this is also a very beautiful camo. You can see a lot more of the gradient on it once you see it on a wider weapon. Like it's a lot lighter blue at the top, darker blue, almost purple at the bottom with all the pink splatter sprinkled in there and then once you bring it into the dark all those pink spots start to glow this is such a cool camo i love that sledgehammer is just going all out trying to do everything they can to make these camos glow and, and stand out in different ways. It makes going for the base camos that much more rewarding. But I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.